Hey, shalom mi gente. Welcome back to uh, Urban Dojo. I am Blue and I am your brown water sensei. And uh, yeah, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am back after having a, about a month hiatus or so uh, just to get my just get myself back on track and whatnot. Uh, it is March 2024. And uh, yeah, looking forward to doing a bunch more uh, bourbon reviews, a little brown water reviews with you all. Uh, during the time uh, off, uh, yeah, I ran into a couple good ones, a couple brown waters that, uh, yeah, marketing uh, has put their stamp of approval on. Uh, didn't mean, you know, that I put my stamp of approval on like it matters, but uh, anywho, uh, one uh, brown water that I did put my stamp of approval on, and we're going to go over this, Penelope Architect, right? Um, yeah, I reviewed a couple of uh, Penelope's uh, last year, fully enjoyed them. Uh, They're really, you know, upfront with what they do and how they do it. And this architect is their straight bourbon uh, whiskey finished with French oak staves. Okay, so when I think of French oak staves, I think of Maker's Mark, right? Maker's 46 has that, uh, you know, the French uh, oak stave. Uh, enjoy that wheated bourbon. Uh, here, Penelope tried their hand on it. And um, I think they gave us a little bit too much information, I, yeah, a little bit TMI, uh, you know, TMI. Um, let me do this. You tell me. Okay, there's, yeah. You just let me know what you think. Here's what's on the back of their bottle, Miente. Uh, Penelope Architect Series, build number seven, aged four years. Um, on the back it says, a blueprint for the future of precision blending. The seventh build in this series combines our signature four grain mash bill, love that four grain mash bill, and we'll get to that right now, um, with French oak staves. Okay, working in collaboration with Tonnerre Radu of France. That's, that's about as much French as I know. Um, the market leader in oak barrel manufacturing innovation, we selected uh, each stave using their state-of-the-art, state-of-the-art oak scan. And oak scan is trademarked. Um, so, yep, if you all need to, you know, gauge some staves, apparently uh, Tonnerre Radu in France has uh, state-of-the-art Oats, oak scan, um, easier to, to say, right? Um, process to construct a truly memorable flavor profile. After all, the best architecture leaves no room for error. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you. So, <laughs> TMI is it right? You get this spider web of you know all this I don't know laboratory stuff, right? All these analytics and there's an eye analytics of fruit on the nose, oak perception, vanilla, spicy, toasted, fruit on the palate, structure, oak integration persistence. <sighs> I appreciate the nerdiness of it all, but I'm a viejo, I'm an old man. All I need to know is, uh, does it taste good, right? You know, let me le read a little bit about the, uh, a mash bill on it and their website does have good stuff on the mash bill. Um, four grain. We just heard it's a four grainer. What is a four grainer? Well, it has corn, wheat, rye, and barley. Usually you interchange, you know, three of those, but this one has four corn, wheat, rye, and barley. Um, and it's 75 corn, 15 wheat, 7% rye, 
and 3% uh, barley. So straight bourbon whiskey, 104 proof. They, they, they just don't have one stave profile, they have two, right? They have something, a low tannin and a, high, and a medium tannin. So yes, where we're, it told us that they have an oak scan process on here, um, yeah, that oak scan process apparently includes, you know, the relativity of tannins, high, medium, and low. So for this build number seven, uh, there is some low and there is some high staves. So uh, let's get to the nosing on this. All right. Penelope, architect. Okay, um, herbal, kind of neat, it's kind of like a, a, to me, a raspberry mintiness, uh, I don't know, definitely a berry mintiness to this, um, and herbal floral, I guess. Yeah, um, no fruit, getting no, no real fruit other than, yeah, I guess raspberry is technically a fruit. Or is it just a berry? I don't know, it's pretty even. Uh, those four grains seem to be playing nice, um, almost too nice. As you can see, uh, this was brand new uh, a couple months back. Uh, I think got this in January uh, from my local honey hole and um, yeah it's one of those really nice uh, noses that uh, hey I think we're in for a treat doesn't smell 104 uh, doesn't smell four year I saw four year um, but then I think I read summer it could be five years so we'll say four to five years um, yeah, it says aged four years on the bottle, so we're gonna go with the four years. Um, it, it drinks a little older. It, there's no heat and uh, it's gonna be great, so. Cheers. Um, yeah, let's go to the palate. See if uh, that uh, raspberryness continues. Hmm. The wheat. Um, grainy wheat and the, the palate coats your mouth, not a tongue hug, but it's oiliness, kind of coats, coats the mouth. Um, I get the wheat and the grain. Um, maybe it's the staves, maybe that, uh, it's not a smoky, it is definitely kind of a, a, a wood. A woodiness. So it's interesting. It's um, nothing like any of their other uh, offerings that we had the, the toasted and the, the wheat and, and whatnot. Um, yeah, it, and there it is. Okay. It's almost like a, uh, an after effect uh, wave of um, spice. So, and it's a, what's that, big red chewing gum? Um, <laughs> yeah, the big red chewing gum, kind of cinnamon, uh, cinnamon berry. Uh, yeah. Uh, light caramel, light vanilla. I did, did The caramel and vanilla is almost, I don't know, how do you say it? Unconsequential, inconsequential. It's almost, it's neither here nor there. You're drinking this one right here, the Architect, 
for its uniqueness. For it has some berry, it has uh, that graininess. Um, yeah, let me. I gotta do this again. Hmm. When I've tried this, I've always tried this with a. Uh, I'm smoking cigars, just chilling out, right? Uh, this is the first time I'm literally trying this neat, and uh, yeah, it's a. It's it's different. Okay, uh, it is not your traditional, you know, uh, Kentucky bourbon, Kentucky straight. Um, which is good. Uh, it's nice to have a well blended, well put together brown water that offers you a new experience. And I kind of can't put this experience into words other than you got to try it. The, the bottle's great. I think it's like 50 bucks, 55 bucks uh, for the bottle. Uh, so that is, that is well in line uh, with what I'm willing to pay right now for brown water. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I am good with the Penelope right there. Um, appreciate y'all. Hey, cheers mi gente. Go love on somebody. Shalom. Peace. Try it, it's different. If you want different, try it.